With the second highest box office market in the world, China had a stellar year in 2019, in both ticket sales and quality of movies produced. From animated movies that would rival Disney, to sci-fi action blockbusters and movies based on real events, the variety in Chinese cinema would surprise you. During 2019, approximately 900 full-length movies were released in the mainland, not all of them destined for box office glory, but the ones that made it raked in a lot of money for their studios. With a grand total of 64.3 billion yuan, or the equivalent of 9.2 billion US dollars, China's market is hot on the tails of the US, who managed a respectable 11.4 billion in 2019. Hi, I'm the Artie Dans from Asian Film Fans, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the top 10 highest grossing films in China in 2019. Caveat, we're only looking at Chinese movies. This means that we aren't counting Fast and the Furious Hobbs and Shaw, which was 10th, and Avengers Endgame, which was third. Now on with the list. Coming in at number 10, earning a respectable 1.208 billion yen is Sheep Without a Shepherd, a remake of the Indian thriller Trisham. What's more amazing about Sheep Without a Shepherd's entry onto this list was that it was released on the 13th of December, earning its total in just over two weeks. This is a fantastic thriller remake about a man who would do anything to protect his family after they accidentally killed the son of a local police chief. Outstanding performances from Xiao Yang as the father, Joel Tan as the mother and Joan Chen as the police chief round off this on the edge thriller. Check out our review on Sheep Without a Shepherd by following the card above or clicking on the link in the description. Don't take me to. In ninth position, and one of two co-productions with Hong Kong on this list, is White Storm 2 Drug Lords, the sequel to the 2013 Benny Chan action crime thriller. This stars two of the biggest names in Hong Kong cinema right now, in Louis Ku and Andy Lau, and is directed by Herman Yao, who is the man behind the upcoming Shockwave 2. Earning a respectable 1.313 billion yen, White Storm 2 Drug Lords opened to middling reviews, which seemed to be the norm for films from Hong Kong in 2019. In this installment, a wealthy businessman tries to take down a drug kingpin that he used to work with. It's not a classic, but it's still a good way to spend 100 minutes on a rainy afternoon. Eighth position is the Derek Tang directed drama romance film Better Days. Earning 1.558 billion yuan, this movie resonated strongly with the teen crowd. A young girl strikes up a friendship with a local small time gangster while she is studying for her college entrance exams. Bullied and alone, they form the pact. Well directed and scoring high in both critic and user reviews, Better Days has also seen an international theatrical release in the US, UK, Australia, Singapore and more. Based on a book written about the 2010 Tsingang port oil spill in Dalian, North China, The Bravest takes out 7th spot on the list, earning 1.707 billion yuan. One of the big 7 films that premiered during the 70th anniversary of the People's Republic of China celebrations in August, The Bravest tells the story about the firefighters who risked their lives to contain an out of control fire at an oil refinery. With plenty of liberties taken on the story, you might be forgiven for thinking these firefighters have superhuman abilities, and that was but one of many problems with this film. Still, audience responded with their wallets and turned up in their thousands to watch this epic blockbuster. It's also worth noting that some reviews have incorrectly stated this movie as being based on events that occurred in Tianjin in 2015, rather than the actual 2010 incident in Dalian, which indeed was an explosion in an oil refinery.
，儿子，让你看看什么叫一招制敌。Coming in at sixth place and one of two comedies in the top ten is the very funny, very entertaining Pegasus, starring the always exciting Shen Teng. Earning a handy 1.729 billion yen, Pegasus tells the story of a racing car driver who's keen to get back behind the wheel at the conclusion of his racing suspension. Down on his luck, with his life going nowhere, Zhang Qi convinces his old rally partner Lin Zhendong to suit up and get back on the dirt track as they attempt to recapture the title of champion of Bayanbrook Circuit. With an ambiguous ending that leaves the fate of Zhang Qi in the imagination of the audience, Pegasus was a Chinese New Year smash hit. Wow, this is not a good way to go. This is not a good way to go. 我们被绑架了，被谁绑架了？外星人，不许说外号。正宗外星人会法术。Not content with sixth position, Shen Teng's second Chinese New Year feature of 2019, also starring audience favorite Huang Bo, was Crazy Alien, the only other comedy in the top ten list, raking in 2.214 billion yen and bearing more than a little resemblance to Spielberg's E.T., including the theatrical poster. Crazy Alien tells the story of a monkey trainer who attempts to train the alien who has injured his monkey after crash landing on Earth. Some respectable CGI is in play in this movie, and while not a massive hit with the critics, it was definitely a hit with the public. Another movie based on a true event. This time, it's the well-documented case of Sichuan Airlines Flight 8633, and starring Operation Red Sea's Han Yu Zheng as the cool as a cucumber captain. Earning just shy of three billion yen, the captain mixes heavy special effects with its story to craft one of the best Chinese movies of 2019. It might suffer from overly patriotic themes and the usual superhuman characters, but don't let that get in the way of the fact that this event actually happened, to a degree. Another movie released in time for the 70th anniversary celebrations, My People, My Country, boasts an impressive cast of elite Chinese actors, with one very large and notable exception. Huang Bo, Wu Jing and Simon Yan are some of the names international audiences will be familiar with, but to local Chinese audiences, this is the equivalent of Ocean's Eleven. An anthology movie mixing seven short stories by seven different directors about key moments in the 70-year history of the People's Republic of China, the audience responded very warmly to this movie, earning a handsome 3.171 billion yen. In a clear second place comes the adaptation of science fiction author Lu Kuqing's short story, The Wandering Earth. Loosely based on the story, The Wandering Earth follows a group of people who struggle to reignite a large thruster that's pushing our planet away from the dying sun and into another solar system. Sounds fantastical, and it is. Starring Chinese darling Wu Jing from Wolf Warrior and with wonderful Hollywood rivaling special effects, solid acting and an interesting, if outlandish, storyline, The Wandering Earth earned a monstrous 4.684 billion yuan at the Chinese box office and is available to watch now on Netflix. Wu 
论最终结果将人类历史导向何处，我们决定选择希望。小妖怪，逍遥又自在。杀人不打牌，吃人不放人。And coming in at number one with just over five billion yuan is the animated feature Nerja. Based on the classic story of the Demon Child, Nerja is the second highest Chinese-grossing movie ever, just a cool 600 million yuan behind Leader Wolf Warrior 2. Nerja shows that the Chinese animation studios can really take it up to Pixar and DreamWorks, with great animations that's only briefly let down in places. This surprise hit is being followed up in 2020 with Zhang Ziya. It's also receiving an English dub cinema release in the USA alongside a 4K Blu-ray release from Wellgo. <laughs> 